am bored. What should we do? Anyone want to have another dance off? Oh, God, there's no way I can compete with your moves. Uh, anyone in the mood for a face mask? I've got a great one with cabbage. I'm dying to try it. I think I will pass. Want to watch TV? Yeah. Well, that was weird. All right, enough of this sitting around business. It's time to have some more fun and get the chew started right now. Today, you wrote, you called, you tweeted, and we listen. So we've got an hour of cooking on demand. Carlos putting a cheesy southern spin on a crunchy classic with the fabulous Kelly Rowland. Then the votes are in, social media has spoken, and Mario's whipping up the springtime supper you asked for. Plus, could Michael Simon survive the toughest five in five he's ever faced? Find out right now on The Chew. Touch that dial because you're watching the tastiest show on TV and all hour long we're giving you the recipes you crave. We're cooking on demand today. <laughs> on demand. Everything is on demand today. Yes. We have demanded a couple of recipes from our producers. We were like, we saw, we saw some things on the internet. Can you go out and get them? And they did. The first thing I wanted were the miso wings from Bar Goto. Oh. They are a sweet and savory appetizer from Manhattan's Bar Goto. It's a Japanese cocktail joint that's become a hot spot for bar snacks. So I saw these on Instagram and I was like, must try. Oh. Miso buffalo sauce. Are they good? Good job, Clinton. Good. These well are done. Mm. I also like the mm. size of them. They're like the perfect. Sometimes wings get too big, uh -huh. where you, you you lose the crunch to meat ratio. These are the perfect size chicken wing. Yeah. Oh, oh man, we need to come in a bucket. Oh. You didn't request a cocktail to come with this? <laughs> oh my God, Clinton, you fell asleep. My request was denied. Oh okay. <laughs> All right. All right. We also have Mario's request mm. of. Roberta's Green Tomato Carpaccio. Ah. Yes, 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 That's a Roberta's yes. Pizzeria. Explain that to us what that Carpaccio Roberta's is. Roberta's is a very cool restaurant in Bushwick, Brooklyn. Uh, the chef is Carlo Meraki, one of my good friends. There we are in Vegas just oh, yeah. last weekend. <laughs> Don't pay attention to anything that's going on in that photo. <laughs> Mario, uh, you were asleep at the... Oh, no, no, I was doing this new thing that I'm gazing away from the camera. <laughs> It makes me look like I'm intelligent, I think. That's it. Ah, you can fool them. Or everybody. Yeah, exactly. No. Wow. All right, so this is a green oh, yeah. tomato carpaccio marinated in white soy with lemon and olive oil with roasted tomatoes and, and, and tomatillos and uh, smoked avocado. These guys do crazy stuff with the simplest things. It is one of my favorite restaurants. This, this... I could marry this dish. Yeah. I just want to show people what that carpaccio means. It's like super thinly sliced green mm -hmm. tomato. You don't get it like that. It's really mm -hmm. nice. And the smoke wow. that's coming through in the, the avocado, avocado is This insane. is, oh my God. They're great together. Mm. Mm. They're they are great, great together. Yeah. Thanks. So go, go to Brooklyn, everybody. <laughs> oh man. No. We asked our followers on Facebook what they wanted us to do on demand, and it's time to give the people what they want. Yeah. All right. So. Myrna or Myrna R demanded that Mario drink one of Carla's Can You Blend It concoctions. Oh. Yes. What, did, what did you make for Mario? All right. Good. So I really, I really wanted you to have something that was sorry, good. I mean, okay, so I did a Can You Blend It with tiramisu. It was a slice of tiramisu, frozen vanilla ice cream, coffee ice cubes, oh. and um, a little bit of milk and some cocoa powder. She made you a milk That's awesome. This is ridiculous. That's not a concoction. He doesn't like tiramisu. Mario always says he just doesn't like tiramisu. You don't like tiramisu? But he likes everything else. I just I don't mean. like the whole blend it thing. <laughs> but this, Carla, sounds like you might have a home. Yeah, it's You're not going to be able to get that through delicious. that straw, are you? Oh, yeah. Look at you. You're going to faint. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, that was impressive. They don't call me Hoover for nothing. <laughs> that proves that, yes, Carla, you can blend it. Hey. Because you're always saying you don't like the texture. I just, it doesn't like that it's not cold. I 
feel like he should have gotten one with the clam spaghetti. Like yes, I one got of the, the Daphne. Yes. And the whole like, thing. Hey, you you sorry, definitely Daphne, got the worst end of that deal. Hey, this, this is really good. <laughs> yeah. That's yes, you can. Thank you. Know, it's really good. It's ice cream. <laughs> Michelle D oh said, I demand Clinton to wear Mario Batali's clothes for the day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the pants on, Batali. Keep the pants on. All right. All right. All right. Oh, However, another happy day at the Chew. I will sport this yeah. fancy polar fleece yeah. vest, however. I kind of like it. So cozy. I feel very butch in this. You do not. You look very I feel like a... On the weekend? Yes, a, some butch hiker dude from the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> <laughs> you go, Clinton. <laughs> All right, I like it. I'm in. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Rosa P said, I demand Michael to dress up a dog because we all know how much he loves that. Yeah. Well, we couldn't get a dog in the studio today. They, yeah, was, they wouldn't let me bring Ozzy. But first, of all, I want you guys to understand why this makes me crazy. Lizzie occasionally tries to dress up Ozzy, and he has incredible, he's miserable. Look, watch. Look at him. Oh, mama. Mama, stop. Mama, please. Ma mama. He basically oh. plays dead. No. <laughs> mama, mama, don't make me go outside. No. He, they're going to make fun of me. So. <laughs> they're going to make fun of me. Oh, oh my God. Yes. What is this yes, thing? This is perfect. That's it says you. Mommy's Princess. <laughs> <laughs> And this I'm is allergic I, to this whole idea, I, Simon. That's not, that's not, you don't put the head in the crotch area. Is it's, that, no, that it where is, it goes? it's like yeah. a slip over. Simon that's where it does. goes? Oh, I know how to wear a tutu, buddy. <laughs> Back. No. no. Right. That goes on the right. belly. Yeah. No, no, right. this is. Oh, even the Vinci. stuffed animal's miserable. Does? This, well, how does this is actually, name, right? Ozzy would be doing this now. No. Uh -oh. Just keep in mind, everybody, that's what Ozzy does when you ask him to move off the couch. <laughs> See, Carl we, and I don't find that to be correct. Oh, it needs to spin around. All right, continue. I'm, I'll get it. I'm working on it. Uh, Jesse A. said, I demand a Chew musical episode. Clinton would love the idea, and I do. The others, not so much. I love it, too. Yes, uh, Carla would love, love that. I love it. <clears throat> okay, Jesse, this is for you. Ready, guys? <clears throat> me, 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 me. Okay. <laughs> Let's tell the audience what we have coming up in today's show. Ho, ho, ho. Wow. <laughs> I'm making Jesse. a five and five, and the audience is deciding what it is. I'm in the kitchen with a spectacular Kelly Rowe. What's going on? So self. And we're making her ultimate food fantasy. Yeah. Black eyed peas and pimento cheese. <laughs> Simon. No. <laughs> and I'm cooking a dish decided by a very futuristic online poll. We'll be right back. Hey, everybody, welcome back to the Chew. Now, today I've got a dish with five ingredients that you can make in just five minutes for less than five dollars, but. I do not know what I am making yet. Ooh, all right. Well, Michael, Mari and I have got the makings for your pork with gingered plums. Uh, Choose us! Choose us! It's so delicious! But wait, and Clinton and I have the fixings for your spicy mm. fried <laughs> shrimp! Oh, that's yeah. good! Yeah! Yes. Yeah. All right. And you have to leave the choice up to our studio audience. Whichever dish gets the louder applause wins. All right, ready? Who wants the pork? All right. All right, that's okay. enough. Okay. You got up right just touching the red. Who wants the shrimp? Yes! Well, okay then. <laughs> really? It looks like it's pork. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we tried. You guys know how it goes. It's a five and five. We're going to get five minutes on the clock. See if Michael Simon can make his pork with ginger plums in five minutes. Let's go. Uh, so, first thing you want to do, 
Steph, you come yes. over here because you are always my fantastic assistant. If you could take the uh, ginger and peel yes. it for me. I'm gonna take, I got some pork medallions here, which you can get at the butcher already cut into like one and a half to two ounce pieces. I'm gonna lightly pound that out. We have a pan ripping pretty hot here, a cast iron pan, and I'm just gonna season these guys up with a little bit of salt and pepper and then cook them really caramelized on both sides. Now remember, when you're buying beautiful pork these days, you don't need to cook it to death. You only need to cook it to about medium, and that is a completely safe way to eat your pork. All right. So, cast iron pan is hot, pork is seasoned, tongs are here. We're gonna put a little bit of fat in the pan. Are you gonna sing again? Yes, I'm making <laughs> some pork now. And we're gonna drop these in and let them start to caramelize. Now really you're only gonna have to cook these for about hopefully two minutes a side. If not, we're gonna go longer than five minutes. <laughs> But pork, I think that is one of the things where people kind of panic. Pork is safe to eat without being cooked to death. My grandmother used to cook pork till it was had no life left in it. All right, that's that's plenty of ginger, that's Dan. That's for you? Yep. Right. Now I'm gonna take the ginger and we're gonna grate it up here and that's gonna help finish our sauce. I love pork with stone fruit. You know, whether it's peaches, nectarines, regardless of what it is, uh, beautiful cherries. Michigan cherries yes. are fantastic. Yes. And I think that the ginger really just kind of helps light them up. He's stalling, he's out of time. <laughs> Chicken parm, you taste so good. <laughs> All right. Where's the manning when you need him? I know. Now these should be, uh, you get the release plums, the quick release plums. How are we looking on time? Three minutes, you don't have any time at all. I'm doomed. There's not a chance. There we go. Fine, we're good. Okay. Is that quick release plums? Quick release. Quick release. I like that. Quick release. The free stone. Free release. Free stone. Free bird. All right. Look at this. So there we go. That's what you're looking for, guys. Flavor You get that nice caramelization on there. Carla always says it. Flavor in the brown, and you flip them. And then the other side is gonna be just as tasty. I'm then gonna take some of my plums, slice them up, thanks for tails. And we're gonna make a really quick sauce with the plums, the ginger, and I have some fresh cilantro. My favorite. Mm -hmm. just, for, just for Daphne. <laughs> I made this one just for Daffles. Uh, How are we looking on time? Two minutes, you're fine. I'm never gonna make it. <laughs> pork carpaccio, a la Michael oh. Simon. Oh no, this, this is like actually, the made. pork's gonna be cooked perfect. And what I like to do too at this point is you could put in a little knot of butter. Just half a stick or so, it's all good. And the butter's gonna start to brown, but you could also baste your pork with don't that butter. It, don't now, Daph, throw in the ginger first. All right. Because I want to make the, the butter taste like ginger and then put the ginger oh. on the on the pork. So the ginger starts to fry up. And then we just spoon that over the pork. Now throw in the peaches. Plums. Plums. Yeah. And that kind of cools it down a little bit so your ginger doesn't burn. And then we're gonna take a nice pinch of salt. Look, I even have to go around people. I'm making my move here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Three-pointer. More moves than a U-Haul. <laughs> Can I have my cilantro, please? <laughs> Thank you, chef. And now we're going to take this and just rough chop it. I, with soft herbs like this, you don't have to chop the heck out of them. You don't have to get over there and mince it like a crazy person, because then you leave all your flavor on the board. And actually, the stems have a lot of flavor, too, so you could do all that. We're going to stir this all together. You can see that the plums now have started to caramelize also. We are in a good place. I'm gonna hit it with, oh, 48 seconds. Sweet Jesus, I need a platter. No oh, wine? Here, here. Yep. Mario, we only have five ingredients, don't worry. We're gonna go like this. We're gonna mount the sauce with a little bit of butter. If you have wine, you could steal it from Mario Batali's refrigerator. And we shake this up and you have a beautiful brown butter, ginger, cilantro, plum, and pork. Oh, <laughs> with scads of time left over. Wait, what's your fifth ingredient? You have cilantro, pork, plums, and ginger. I mean, you could put in wine, you could put in water, you could put in stock, I don't know. <laughs> Coffee? You steal the wine? No. Four and five. Five, four, three, oh. two,
Thank you. Sweet. So you get the nuttiness from the brown butter. You get a little tart and sweetness from the plums. Um, you, you know, you get all that goodness. Uh -huh. You cook that pork to about a nice medium, and everybody's in a good place. Oh, yeah. How are we looking on the pork? Uh, perfection. Perfection. Okay, you can cook. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, the key with all this kind of stuff, it's just you take the basic techniques, you sear the meat, you caramelize it, you have beautiful fruits. It can be very simple, very quick. You can get the meal on your family for under five minutes. It's healthy, it's delicious, and it's not that expensive. So there you go. All right. Plums are good. And don't, don't panic. We're going to post both of these recipes on thechew.com. But when we get back, Carla is in the kitchen with one of our favorites, Kelly Rollins. Stick around. Uh, I can demand the perfect person to cook with. It will be today's guest. She's an incredible singer, actress, and mom. Plus, she's got a brand new book out called Whoa, Baby. Please welcome back the fabulous Kelly Rollins. <laughs> So good. Yes, you do. Yes. So good. Thank and this you. whole thing. So we, we I heard you like raspberry tea, so I we have do. some out here for you. Do you want any sweetener, honey, or anything? I always want something sweet, honey. Okay, well you're sweet enough, you're gonna get more thing. <laughs> or you want sugar? You want no, 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 I have some honey. Okay. All right. Yes. So it has been, I can't believe it, a year since you were here last. Yes. And but I saw you in January of this year at the White House. Where we were all crying our tears. I know, I know. <laughs> There's Lala, Anthony, you and myself. Yes. We had so much fun. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So um, so what else has been going on with you? Um, let's see. Between the book, between trying to be a, a good mom. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Between, between trying to be a good wife and finishing up a record, I'm just up to nothing. Oh, you know. <laughs> I know. Well, speaking of which, we, you Beautiful. walked out to Dilemma. Yeah. That was your new song, yes, Dilemma. Yes. And, um, and also, you are a judge on The Voice in Australia. Yes. Oh, which is cool. on Sydney. Uh, it's incredible. Everybody's super nice. The food is good. Y'all know I care about my food. Um, and I've just been really having a good time. They've been keeping me busy the yeah. days along. But Titan loves Sydney. He's like living really? Sydney up like it's just his place where he was born. Really? Does he like the beach there? He oh, loves beautiful. Every Look day at because that. he's bilingual. He's going, Playa, the Playa, Mama. Aww. So it's the cutest thing, but he's like, he loves it there. Wait, what's that yeah. flight like? You have to tell me how you do it because that's crazy. I'm still figuring it out. <laughs> Between yeah. iPads and whatever he wants, and baby, 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 there's people trying to sleep in the back of it. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to just calm him down, but he handled it pretty well. And a, my sister told me, and an herbalist said mm -hmm. melatonin. Look how, she gave, oh my she God, told me how to give him five me. drops of melatonin. Okay. So that, that, that worked. <laughs> He's a dream and kid. Rapa, he is. Rapa. <laughs> By the way, they give kids like uh, drink wine and stuff in, in Italy, right? Yeah. Don't tell me that. <laughs> and then, but I mean, Mario. <laughs> so I mean, so he he loves Sydney, but has he picked up any new hobbies there or um, like at uh. home? Um, oh, he loves his skate, not skateboard, but the little scooter thing. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh I can he's totally see him. He's scooter, like, since he was maybe like a year and five that, months. Isn't that crazy? His dad taught him, and it was just the coolest thing to watch him do that. And me, I was on the side crying, because I'm like, this is what I dreamed. <laughs> <laughs> My baby's I was on so happy, so, oh. yeah. He is cute. He is oh, wow, super cute. cute. Thank you. And we see how he is growing and changing, and you were such a beautiful pregnant woman. Thank but you. I have to talk about your new book because you talk about all the changes that your body went through. Yes. I mean, that is going through yes. after the pregnancy. Yes. I mean, you talk about incontinence, you talk about hemorrhoids, you talk about, you are real. Go, Kelly. No, you know what? It, it wasn't a book out like that. After yeah. I had Titan, I felt like it was, I was looking for these types of books, and right. there was nothing out there. And I kept asking my doctor, I was like, why didn't anybody tell me any of this stuff? Right, right. Like, I'm, I'm kind of mad at my friends at this point. So I'm thinking, y'all have had children, and you know better. I know. That you're supposed to tell me something. You wouldn't do it if we told you. <laughs> okay. okay, so here's where I'm crazy. I want to do it again. Yes. I totally want to do it again. Not now, but 
I definitely want to do it again. But we, you know, we sat down, me and my doctor, Dr. Bickman, and we wrote this book, and it Amazing. just turned out so awesome. And I'm so excited because it's all about post-pregnancy. Yes. You know, yes. what to expect when expecting. Jenny McCarthy's belly laughs made me literally like laugh myself till I probably peed on myself. <laughs> literally. But um, it was, but I I learned so much and I yeah. felt prepared. Yeah. I right, love when I right. feel prepared for something. And and with this, I just want mothers to feel prepared, you know? Well, we're going through it together. I think that's cool that you're doing this. Yeah. yeah. Well, guess what? Kelly wants you all to feel prepared, too, because you guys can all read Whoa, Baby, because everyone in our studio audience is getting a copy yeah. of Kelly's new book today. And, hey, those of you at home, head to the Two's Facebook page for your chance to win a copy. So, Kelly, will you stick around and cook with us? No. I've got some good stuff coming up. You guys will be right back. A new book, Whoa, Baby, the amazing <laughs> Kelly Rowland. Thank you. All right, so Kelly, a little a little birdie told me that you are obsessed with nachos. That I'm beyond obsessed with nachos. <laughs> so instead of, uh, I'm cooking on demand, but I created on demand for you and these nachos, because this is nacho to average nachos. We're going to make a pimento cheese mm -hmm. nachos with black eyed peas on top oh and a God. cucumber salsa. Sold. What? Okay, so we're gonna jump right in. Okay. So here I have three tablespoons of uh, minced onion and garlic and some butter. Okay. And you're gonna add two, uh, like a tablespoon of mustard powder. Okay. And that, so tell me, is, is Titan an adventurous eater? Yes, he is. As a matter of fact, we went out to a restaurant, and he has a, uh, also has an expensive taste bud. Uh-oh. <laughs> I ordered um, a risotto with uh, truffles, and he uh -huh. ate the whole thing. What? Yes, and I'm thinking to myself, this is just rude. I ordered this for myself. I got, <laughs> I got him a pizza, and he ate all of my stuff. See, so this is what I'm saying. Kids, this is, this is, um... This too? Uh-huh. Uh okay, okay. This is um, paprika, and then we're going to put in a little bit of cayenne, like a half a teaspoon. Okay. Um, so the thing is, and I think intuitively, kids really don't want kids' meals. They no. really want real food. I agree. Yeah, they really want real food. And so, um, so were you out on a date night, or how do you, you're busy, so how do you and your husband do date night? We are pretty much talking about our son the whole time, but he makes me laugh. Like, I think that's what I love the most about hanging out with my husband. Like, yeah. this night was actually his birthday. The night we were at the White House was oh. his birthday. So he rang in his birthday at the White not House. Bad. Okay, that's not <laughs> you look so cute. Girl, it was so cold. It was so cold that you had on that it satin was. suit. I was like, girl, uh, I was satin crazy. is cold. Yes, satin is cold. We were, uh, by the way, it was so interesting because you're like in line with like Robert De Niro and you know what I mean? Like all these really important people and I'm like, they just outside the White House waiting like we are. I know. <laughs> Everybody's regular in the White House. Okay, so I added two cups of milk. Okay. I put in the flour so we're making our roux. Now you're going to add the cheese. Oh, we let that thicken up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I feel like I don't want to splatter it. Oh, yeah, yes. Oh, 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 so the cheese, oh. we're going to let that melt down. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is cheddar cheese, mm -hmm. just grated. And we let this melt. You want to go ahead and stir? Yes. Oh, I'll okay. stir. You yeah. get to stir. Okay. And then once this melts, we add in some cream cheese because it makes it creamy. This yes. is basically the my macaroni and cheese sauce, but I'm making it for you for the nacho cheese. Girl. Okay. So once that melts down, mm -hmm. then we come over here. Oh. And we add our, here, get the, cut that spoon. Oh, okay. We put in, we have some here. We put in our pimentos. This looks so bomb. Girl, you are going to so love this. So this is basically ready. Okay. All Where right. are the nachos? They're coming. <laughs> <laughs> and so here, Let's I not want... waste our time. <laughs> So Kelly, we don't take black eyed peas. I mean, you're from you're from Texas. Yes. So I'm taking the South and put it into your nachos. And so here we have the black eyed peas. Okay. And in here I'm gonna put cumin, coriander, cardamom, salt and pepper, a little bit of cayenne and that we're gonna toss these. And girl, when we get back, mm -hmm. we're gonna take this pimento cheese sauce. We're gonna take these black eyed peas. We're gonna make a cucumber sauce. We're gonna put it all together and more fun with Kelly when we get back. We're gonna eat and you're gonna be in heaven. Yes, I'm already there. We're here with one of our favorite friends, the very talented Kelly Rowland. Thank you. 
shows together, Kelly. Mm. So we have our blue corn tortillas. I'm going to take this cheese sauce. By the way, she is showing off. <laughs> <laughs> this just looks incredible. Well, I took all the southern components. Wow. So pimento cheese, which is like a mac and cheese sauce, but with pimentos. And then I take these seasoned black eyed peas, which are canned. These go on top. And then, because I like pickle, and because my grandmother always had cucumbers mm. with onions and dill in the fridge, this goes on top. Mm. Okay. All right. <laughs> Kelly, get in here. Tell me what you think. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm gonna go to those. Oh my God. Honestly. Carla, I want a face plant in this stuff. Right? Is, oh my God. All these flavors to get, I never would have guessed it. Man, y'all are genius. Yeah. That was genius. Yeah. Oh, no, but fun. thank you for demanding it because it demanded me to create something for you with all of your Southern background. It well, hits every note. Oh okay, so mm. speaking of every note, right on time. Okay, so are you up for more fun with us? Absolutely. Okay, so let us present to you the extraordinary keys of Kelly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so Kelly, you pick a key, okay. any key, and behind each is a question and you'll have to that you'll have to answer. Okay. And since you're such an amazing songstress, as we are not, you didn't hear us sing earlier, oh, wow. you'll sing the answers for us, okay? Okay. okay. Ready? Go. <laughs> All right, so pick one. Four. So okay, Titan so is four. born on the four. All right. What do you think Titan will be when he grows up? I think he will be a leader. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, seven. Seven. Fourteen. All right. Tell us your go-to song to sing in the shower, or your karaoke song. Please don't laugh. <laughs> Okay. Um, let's see. I'd say two. Okay. <laughs> All right. From the audience. Okay. If you could sing a duet with anyone, living or deceased, who would it be? Mm. Oh, God. I just think this man is so fly and fine. What's going on? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's going on? set of mini cooking utensils and a chef's coat for that adorable <laughs> son of yours. He's going to love that, right? I, oh, he's he's going to love, love that. It. Please send us a pic. I will. Yeah, yeah, no, the I, two of you in the I, kitchen. I swear, I'm totally going to tag y'all in everything. This is so <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks Thank to Kelly Rowland. Thank you. All right, be sure to check out her book, Whoa Baby, available now. We'll be right back. You. My life is full of tough decisions. For example, what should I wear today? My orange Crocs? Yeah. <laughs> or my other orange Crocs? <laughs> should I wear my green oh my scrunchie God. or my orange scrunchie or my yellow scrunchie? <laughs> or should I let Clint Clinton borrow all of these things? <laughs> so when it came to what to cook today, I couldn't handle one more decision. Instead, I left it up to you guys on social media. Yeah. Your choices were... A Batali breakfast, mm. a pasta palooza, mm. a dolce dessert. Mm. And the winner was. <laughs> a pasta palooza. <laughs> Today we're going to make spaghetti with ramps and pecorino. Ramps are a member of the Allium family, they are in season for about five or six weeks a year, one of my favorite things because they truly are an example of things that you cannot get out of season. You can only get these in a couple places in the country. They grow up and down the East Coast from the Appalachians all the way to the Berkshires, and they grow in Ohio and Michigan and as West well. Virginia, yeah. And West Virginia? I mean, West Virginia is like, West Virginia, 
I think, are the king of the ramps, and then it kind of moves moves down from there. Well, it was in the old times a sign of poverty. If you smelled like ramps, it was because you were a forager as opposed to someone buying expensive ingredients, and that meant you came from the poor side of town. Now we charge top dollar for these things, and they're fantastic, and they're just beautiful, sweet, kind of a cross between garlic and a leek, mm -hmm. and they're beautiful and members of the lily family as well, and all you do is you chop them up and saute them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to toss some of these greens in a pan. Daph, go ahead and start like that. And also we're going to take some of the greens and we're going to toast some breadcrumbs. Put a little olive oil on that one too, Daph. Got it. Thank you. So the greens go in there with some breadcrumbs. All we did is we chopped up some rustic bread, day old or fresh or even a week old. It doesn't really make a difference. And what we want to do is leave them nice and big pieces. We call these fat boy breadcrumbs because they add a certain crunch to it. And that toasty, bready goodness is what makes everything so delicious. That's what people in Italy love about their pasta. You can talk all that you want about the sauce and what goes on the noodle, but fundamentally the most important thing about the dish is the noodle itself, that toasted wheat bread smell that almost is what smells like it's emanating from the bakeries when you're on your way home from church on Sunday. That's where we all live. So anyway, so we start with olive oil and we chop the ramps up. Sometimes they chop them up and cook them separately, uh, the greens and the whites, but I like them all in exactly the same pan because they're going to cook down to create a dish that's almost like aglio, olio, e pepperoni Chino, perhaps my favorite pasta dish of all time, because it takes almost nothing at all except for the ability not to gild the lily, not to put too much more in it. And that's one of the big things. Dabo, how's our breadcrumbs? They going? look great, but garlic and olive oil pasta was the dish that my mom would always make if what she was making got messed up. Right? It was. It this was, was the save it all dish? Yes, and it was perfect. It was always what everyone wanted anyway. Right? <laughs> right, exactly. Mom, don't burn the meatloaf again because well, it's made out of tofu we didn't anyway. Have meatloaf, so, you know. <laughs> all right. So we're toasting the breadcrumbs, mm -hmm. and you want to get them to a pretty deep, dark, golden toast. And all you have are those ramps in there. They've sautéed just a little bit, but they'll have a little bite of kind of that almost raw oniony flavor. Here, all we're doing is we're cooking these until they're fully cooked through. And then when they get to the almost ready point, we're going to splash a little bit of the pasta cooking water in. You don't really even have to prepare yourself for much. Once you have boiling water, you can have this on the table as long as it takes to cook the pasta. So we're going to season the water to the salinity of the... See. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to drop in some spaghettoni, which is thicker than spaghetti and even thicker than spaghettini. What we're going to do is cook it to one minute short of the package instructions. Then we're going to take it out. We're going to toss it in with the condiment. Mm -hmm. The condiment, of course, just being the sauce, a fancy word. I'm going to slow down the cooking of those ramps by adding just a little bit of the salted pasta water. When we come back, we're going to marry this with that. We're going to marry that with, with this. this. We're going to dance like this, yeah. and everything will come together as one. Stay with us. Welcome back to The Chew. Today I'm cooking by request, making a meal chosen by you guys on social media. You voted for a pasta palooza and you'll get one of my favorites, spaghetti with ramps and pecorino. We've cooked the pasta. Hold on one sec. Yeah. Now what we've done is we add a little pasta water, but it dissipates. It completely evaporates. So right before you add the pasta, you add a little bit more of that cooking water to drop the temperature from hot oil to boiling, right? And then you toss this all together. And keep in mind, because you're using that beautiful slotted pan, that you could, if you needed, add a little bit more water. I'd rather it be just a little too wet at the beginning because when we add the cheese, it's going to thicken up. Now the key to adding cheese is taking it and adding it off the heat. So now we don't ever put it back on the heat because that will cause that cheese to get all stringy. <coughs> we don't want no stringy cheese. Then we go like that. See, it starts to emulsify like that. You go like that. Oh, yeah. Daffo, yeah. bring on the toasted breadcrumbs. Oh, my that gosh. That looks gorgeous. And I believe if there was a church of noodles, we would be dancing at an altar right now. Simon, you want to add a little bit more pecorino on top of each? Yes, or chef. And this is exactly Thank what you. Italians really eat on their day Thank off. You. This is the simplest, best, easy way to go with just about anything you want. Oh, my Thank gosh. Thank you. Can talk a little yeah, bit more yeah, cheese? Thank you. I think we should just oh. dip in here. There you go, sir. Thank you, sir. Things taste. are looking up. Once you taste this, nothing can go wrong. Mm. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Oh. Mm. 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 Yeah. And most important, I love how 
well done, Jake Spaghetti. It's a way of life. That is nice. We are out of time. Thank you so much, Kelly Rowland, for joining us today. Come back tomorrow. It's going to be a great show. It's our wedding extravaganza. We've got giveaways all hour long. Go to the shoe.com for all things Q and. Have a fabulous day, everybody!